What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 185 of Room Tour Project, the series where you show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. And starting off August, we're going to have the fan favorite clean and minimal edition early this month. So, hope you guys are pumped. If you anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. Let's kick off 185. All right, first we have Matt C, and he's cooking with something that is pretty unique and cool. You might not see it right away. Might take you a few seconds like it did me, but uh, it's got a trick up its sleeve. Do you see it now? It's his built-in PC into his Alex drawer. You can see it on the left side there, right between the chairs, just peeking at you. So we'll check it out in a minute. As per the usual routine, we'll get into his primary gear and hardware. So he's rocking a single monitor here. It is a 27 inch AOC display, 144 Hertz. Then down to his peripherals, he's rocking the Ducky 1-2 mini keyboard with the Corsair M65 RGB Elite mouse on a nice glorious extended mouse pad. Loving the mix of matching the black and white peripherals. And for audio, you can see there on the desk is his SteelSeries Arctis Pro headset in white. And the speakers, the Edifier R1700 Bluetooth speaker. So the dedication to all black and white is real. But now into that custom PC built into his Alex drawer unit. Very, very unique. Inside here is an Intel i7 8700K CPU with 16 gigs of Course Prevention's Pro RGB RAM on Gigabyte Z370N Wi-Fi motherboard with an NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti. It's one of their Founders Edition graphics cards. But tons of water-cooled components going into this, stuff from EK, XSPC for the fittings, Mayhem's tubing, and I really like the, the clear coolant he has from EK. It's the cryofuel clear, and it just looks really nice when you mix in that purple RGB lighting. And then a nice shot of all the RGB lighting off, so just a really clean and sterile black and white setup. Really loving the simplicity here, and props to the creativity of building your PC inside the desk. Good stuff all around. Now we got Howdy Doody with the super simple setup, going for a real nice, stealthy, all black look here. And subtle touch, but I love the matching colored keycaps to the icons on his wallpaper. Don't know if it was intentional, but I'm digging it. Now for his single monitor, it is an Acer ED273. It's a 27 inch, 144 Hertz, 1080p panel mounted on a monitor arm off to the right side. That could help free up some space underneath the monitor there. And since it's not, you know, a large desk, less clutter the better. Down to his peripherals, going with the all wireless setup here, which is a really nice touch. That keyboard is the Ann Pro 2 with the Logitech MX vertical mouse sitting on the Razer Vespula V2 mouse pad with the Sennheiser HD 4.4.0, whoops, 4.40 wireless headphones. So yeah, all wireless. And again, the color accented keycaps on the Ant Pro 2. A nice dash of color mixed in with the all black setup. Then over to the PC on the right side, keeping the footprint nice and minimal. We have a super tiny case. Always love these. This is the Nuvolo Stec. I'm probably butchering that name, but that's all right. Inside is an AMD Ryzen 3600X CPU with the Noctua NH L12S cooler. You got 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM, an Asus ROG X470i motherboard, and the NVIDIA GTX 1070 Ti Founders Edition graphics card. You guys know I love these ITX builds. Looks great on this desktop. And then for a peek under the desk, got a pretty good cable management job going on with thanks to the IKEA Signum there, keeping everything up off the floor. That's always a pro when you don't have a lot on your desktop, especially when you have wireless peripherals, there's not gonna be a lot of cables to manage. So always a good thing. But in the end, I just love this. Obviously super simple and the all kind of matte black stealth look it has with some nice little accents and pops of color. You guys know what's up. Got a bit of juxtaposition here from all black to now all white with Chris. So complete opposite really with tons of pops and color with the vinyls up on the wall, nice colorful wallpaper, and you got all that natural lighting thanks to that massive window. So check it out also for his signal display. Didn't mean to be a trend here, but that's, what's, that's just what's gonna happen. We have a 34 inch 120 Hertz Alienware monitor, tiny little RGB light strip behind it to give it some accent to match the color of the wallpaper there with a the nice little ice blue color, which is a good way to keep it all flowing because you could see his RGB fans and his PC are also matching as well as the LED lights in his peripherals. So checking those out, we have the Corsair K55 
wireless keyboard paired with the Corsair Harpoon RGB mouse. For audio, we have the wireless Sennheiser HD 4.50 headphones. I won't mess that up this time. And those speakers are the glorious Kef LS50. These are also wireless. And uh, although they're hidden behind the PC here, these are definitely a statement. Let's put it that way. Now, checking out that PC, we have the Corsair 280X RGB case. Inside is an Intel i7 8700K CPU with the Corsair H115i Pro RGB AIO. 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM, an MSI Z390M Gaming Edge motherboard with the EVGA RTX 2060 XC Ultra graphics card. But again, matching everything to that nice ice blue. And again, if they supply it, I'll show it off. The tidy cable management, phenomenal here. And since this is a sit-stand desk, uh, cable management has to be on point. So you can see it's all routed there, nice and neat to the one outlet. Probably wasn't easy to do. And all together, just a really chill gaming zone. Like you got the couch back there for kicking backs, kicking backs. Not, not like physically kicking someone's back. It's been a long week, ladies and gentlemen. Regardless, what I'm trying to say is you got a chill spot and I'm loving the gaming setup. Man, moving right along to FX Format. You might remember him. We had him on way back in, I believe, 2016. So it's been quite some time and he's still bringing it with that all white sterile floating monitor setup. Here with the three displays looking super nice and clean. And this one's a bit of a transitional setup, which I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Uh, but for those three displays, they are each a Dell UltraSharp U2715H. However, since I had this in the queue, he's since done some spring cleaning, as he said, and went just to one monitor. But we don't have any more photos of this, just this one. So back to his peripherals. His keyboard is the Cooler Master Master Keys Pro sRGB with the Asus Gladius mouse. You can see that sound bar mounted in the back is an LG sound bar, but as you'll see again in some of the updated photos, he ditched that for some clip speakers. And since everything here has that nice floating clean design to it, uh, we also have the wall mounted PC. So literally floating here. This is the Leon Lee PC06S case. Inside is an Intel i7 7700K CPU. 32 gigs of HyperX Fury RAM on just an Asus Strix motherboard is all we have supplied. With an EVGA GTX 1080 uh, and a lot of the water cooling components are from EK. Got those nice hard line angles. Definitely a clean build we could say. Wish we had more info on what's going on. So a pretty dope setup that has completely changed now to being even more simple with just one monitor. The PC is no longer wall mounted, but it still has that 60 inch 4K TV there. Who knows, at this rate, maybe in 2021, we'll have a newer updated version. And then last, but absolutely not least, is Tom. And this is another one with a very unique PC situation. You might start to see it. This is just a crazy nice room. Like this pad is dope. I vow to never do that again. All right, so forgetting that happened, the single monitor here is a Dell 24 inch mounted nicely to the wall with a cable raceway to hide it all and blend in with the all white. And man, that white really pops here in the daytime, mixing very nicely with the all black and white peripherals. So checking out some of the stuff real quick for audio. We have the SteelSeries Arc Disc 7 headset. No real information on those Philips speakers. He says he forgot. It's all good, but sitting on that extended mouse pad is the Logitech G413 keyboard with the Razer Death Adder mouse. And you already know, I'm digging the accents of green with the plants all around, bringing some life to it here. Now, in the background, that is a PC which is pretty much built into like the side of the desk, but it's like part of the wall. This is pretty killer. So for the case, it's a modified Fantex Enthu Evolve tempered glass case inside an Intel i7 6850K CPU with 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM and the NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition graphics card with the uh, Fantex Glacier water block. Definitely a bit of a glacier color theme as well with all that clear cool and ice blue um, RGB lights again, which I think just looks really, really nice with a primarily white setup here. That blue reflects really nicely, but this is just super clean, super minimal. Um, I love everything about this, man. Real good job on this. Love the creativity. 
All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 185 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, check the links in the description down below for all the gear and hardware you saw, plus some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered in a future episode of Room Tour Project. If you have a cleaner, more minimal setup than one showed off today, feel free to submit. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Or follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed episode 185. Have a good day.